Hey everybody, Amateur Hobby Logger here with a little update on a little problem I've been having right along. Uh, it seems to me the longer that the uh, gasifier runs, it gets packed tighter and tighter and tighter with the uh, charcoal right around the, at the, down, down in the grate. And uh, it, it just, it starts out real well. Uh, yeah, good, good volume of air, of gas moving through and a good uh, flame to start with and everything, then it just gets weaker and weaker. And I think I figured out the, uh, the problem with that is that it doesn't allow, the sides are too high on the thing to allow the uh, charcoal to excavate out of the way to make room for the new, one, new stuff that's making gas down through the uh, uh, inverted bell and down through the hearth. So once it gets past that, and if it just packs around the outside of it, it's not burning anymore. Um, so it, it's just uh, it's plugging everything up and it's not allowing everything to to move through So what I have done is I uh, increased the size of the holes in the bottom of the grate. I punched them out to 7 16 and This morning uh, That seemed to work just a little bit better, but not much and this morning I came down and I was looking at it and I've been yakking with a couple of the guys there about it and I think what we have to do is is uh, uh, make that either a shallower bowl or even a, uh, a dished plate uh, as, as a grate to uh, keep the, the, uh, the cinders and the, and the uh, charcoal moving off to the, uh, off, off to the side and out of the, out of the way of everything so you can keep the, uh, the good potent charcoal moving down through. Um, so what I did do is I just took it out of the thing there and cleaned it out and um, stuck it up on the vise and I got the plasma cutter out and I cut some of these notches out of the side. Now they're uh, three quarters of an inch uh, uh, wide and three inches long basically and it, uh, on, on each uh, one third of the thing between the, the hanger, hangers there. So I can just kind of point it out to you and show you um, what, what I've done on it. That's the, uh, the kind of slice right there. I did have the opportunity to, to try it out uh, on two little short runs this, earlier this morning and uh, it seems to help. So um, when you shake it, the, it allows the charcoal that's, that's uh, really not adding anything to the, the equation to move out of the sides and, and drop down into the barrel. Um, the good thing about it is they're, if they're uh, not really burned up well, then it's yeah, you recycle it, you put it back in for your next startup, uh, and, and, that, and that's your char to start with on the next go around there. But um, I'm going to try this out again, and um, I've changed things down a little bit on it. I added uh, another port um, to the uh, outlet so that I can switch from the, from the blower out of the um, cyclone to the, right to the filters. So I have a double shut off there. I can shut one off, turn one on, and go back and forth to whatever I need on that. But uh, that's the uh, that's the upgrade that I'm I'm uh, working on right now. And if this doesn't do it, then um, I'm going to try that flat plate. It'll be about 10 or 12 inches in diameter with the same kind of hangers on it, um, but in a different location, and um, that'll spread the uh, the uh, charcoal out real well. So um, what, I, what I did notice uh, just with this alone is that it even allows the wood gas to escape through the sides and it gives me more volume coming through the blower and up onto the flare. And in fact, the flare was about a foot higher than it usually is. So it's allowing for good gas movement uh, with those extra holes in the side there. And it's allowing the uh, charcoal to escape that's... Uh, I don't want to say it's all burned ash because I don't get much ash. I get little chunky granules of, of carbon, and uh, but I don't get any ash down below there. So it's not really burning completely down through. It's uh, you know once it gets down to that point, it just plugs. So I'm hoping that this is going to be a, a longer term uh, help to get the um, keep the consistency of the uh, you know the the gas moving. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, pause out and I'm going to hook this back up in there 
and we're going to start her up quick and, and uh, give you a show on that. So we'll see if that makes any difference. All right, hang on. We're making smoke. Pretty good amount, too. I just wanted you to catch the, the sound of it when she's really pulling good. Now we better go uh, test our flame there. So I'll hook it back up and you know, actually we'll do a... Not quite. I can see it starting to brown up a little bit, so it's, it's getting close. But it's also... Losing a little bit of volume. Uh, we'll give her just a little bit of a shake here. And then we'll close the hopper up. There we go, that juiced her up a little bit. Okay, I'm going to close that up. It's been raining all day today, on and off. Oops, we're starting to lose our, uh, lose the flow again. Huh. Well, let's see what we got. Yeah, probably going to have our shelter a little pot here in a minute. Pull her back in. See what's going on. Well guys, it's still the same day and never being one to look a dead horse in the eye, I decided I'm going to try that again. So I took the uh, shaker out, cleaned it all out, I cut some more, or the, uh, not the shaker, but the grate, and I cut the side holes a little bit bigger, and I even used the straight edge this time so it looks a little better. Um, when I pulled it apart, I did find that it was, um, uh, the stuff was still caked in there. Not quite as bad, but some of the granules that were coming down were... Uh, still too big to get through the, the sides there and I'm convinced that anything on the side of that thing ain't gonna burn no more And so it's just a straight down nozzle that's gonna do it So I got it fired off and we got another flare started. So if everything got cleaned out I cleaned the blower and the, uh, Everything the, the uh, pads that go in the in the in between the lines there and stuff so we're making a pretty good flame right now and and uh, we're just going to put in about four big double handfuls of, of uh, wood chips in there. 
out of these handy dandy chunkers here. Some of them are a little big. I I toss these kind of guys out. I'll redo them, but all this kind of stuff here, that's that's game. That's that's what I'm liking. So what are we doing? Temperature is 250. I just started it, so it's got a little ways to go to warm up. And if I shake this, that ought to go down a little bit. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that, but it did drop it down a little bit. The flame got better. See how that stands up now? That sucker is probably three feet. Well, I bet it's two and a half. There's one. Now I got 30 inches. 31, 32 inches on it. There she goes. Okay guys, so we got the uh, filters switched over to the main ones now. And everything's on. We're getting some smoke out of there. So it's going through the, the big main filters. We're going to touch her off and see what we got. Well, that would have explained it. It was out of wood. I just caught it while there was still uh, enough in there and put the wood down there and it should sizzle and pop just like on a frying pan. But we're, uh, I just put uh, four or five big ha double handfuls in there and we're ready to go. So let's see what we got now. That's just a just a tad of it in right in right there. It just blew the rest of it is just clear. Really? Yeah. It's clear guys. I'm liking it. Look at that. That's pretty impressive. Start your engine, man. What the heck? V8? Huh. Alright, let's see if we got any moisture in the lines here. Yeah, maybe just a tad. And that's not even running through the cyclone. Just a heat wave. God, look at that. That's just the heat wave, guys. Huh. Well, write that one up. Let's check and see what we got for a manometer here. Oh, it's pulling good. Pulling real nice. This is where it's over overachieving. And when she's running clean and everything, she's running right just about where it's supposed to be. And our temperature is 350. Yep. You can hear it. Nothing coming out of it. She's breathing good. 
Look at that, just clear. Just clear. My God, a heat wave. Oh, nice. I better check my pants. See if something didn't happen there. My God, that's all right. All right, well, too much excitement. It's not good for me. I'm gonna shut this down and we'll have something to show you later. Well, of course I can't stand it anymore. Let's try out the Left 4 Dead Honda. Uh, 